Hi guys, welcome to my channel for your weekly dose of sanity, tech and some fun. Seriously with what's going on in 2020, we really need to keep up our spirits, hope and support for better times and change ourselves to become better humans. So here's me trying to keep you guys entertained during these grim times. In today's video, let's do something different. Let's look at my work at home desk setup. Seems like everyone on the internet loves to look at cool desk setups of others. I have to admit I am amongst those millions who love this too. There's really some excitement towards seeing those cool tech setups of others. So I'm following the trend and doing the same. But just a forenote, my setup is not crazy insane expensive as some other YouTubers. It is budget friendly yet functional. And mind you guys, before the lockdown, I seldom worked at home. And even when I did, I just used my laptop on my lap or the couch or the sofa, wherever as needed. Even though I have my own small man cave, I never really set up a working space until the lockdown. And now that I've done it, I'm seriously loving it. The lockdown just happened on a single day, so I did not have time to go to IKEA to buy stuff. So I had to make do with what I've got at home. Before we proceed, guys, please do subscribe to my channel as I can continue making fun and informative videos like these for you. Starting off with my desk. This is a simple white matte finish one with black legs, which I got from IKEA or IKEA. That's how they pronounce it in the TV ads, right? I checked this with one of the workers in IKEA and she said even she didn't know that it was pronounced like that. And she's been working at IKEA for about two years. <laughs> So this one only costed about 40 pounds with the legs, I think, and it does the job. It isn't extra sturdy, but it is just fine. Next is the chair. This is an interesting one. I bought this from Amazon. See, I wanted a chair which supports my neck as well as providing lumbar support. And this one had really good reviews. Once I got it, I found out that it's really good, but it didn't provide that max neck support which I wanted. Luckily, I had these extra neck support pillows which I use for my car. And so I just strapped one to the headrest and voila, now it's perfect. The cushiony base is nice, soft and comfy and you can raise and lower the arms as well. Besides that, I have a side table which I initially bought for an aquarium but that's long gone now and then we used it as a stand for my second TV and I finally use it to support my printer here. That's the furniture bit done. Now let's talk about tech. First it is the iPad Air 3, my current iPad of choice and I use it almost daily. Even whilst I'm working, I let TV shows or a movie or YouTube running in the background and I made several YouTube videos about the iPad Air 3. I've linked that playlist down below if you wish to check it out. The main focus and the guts of my setup comes from this Dell Inspiron 13 inch 2 in 1 laptop with 8 gen core i7 processor and 16 gigs of RAM. We bought it when the 8th gen was in its midlife period, so it's about 2 years old. As I mentioned, this is a 2 in 1. And it does become a tablet as well and has a touchscreen, but I rarely use the touchscreen. And no matter what, Windows for me is always a mouse pointer and touchpad based device. My laptop is also hooked to this AOC Full HD monitor via HDMI. I use the screen extender feature in Windows for this, so this becomes my second monitor and I get more working space. Then coming to my accessories for my PC, first is the keyboard and mouse setup. I use a simple Logitech wireless keyboard mouse setup. It's not super fancy, but it does the job. The keyboard provides nice tactile feedback and has got shortcuts for all the apps which I use the most. Mouse is smooth and precise. And I use this Realmax mouse pad, which I got from Amazon as it gives this wrist support as well. Then I have a portable hard drive. 
I use this 512 gigabytes old USB portable drive which I got it and it is a special edition of Michael Jackson's This Is It. It comes with the MJ's movie preloaded on it and I bought it as a souvenir as soon as our beloved pop star was no longer with us. Before moving on to the sound setup, I have this USB fan which is pretty neat and plugs into the USBs of your laptop or a hub and powers on. Good to keep you cool during those five days of UK summer. <laughs> Coming to the sound setup, I have two Bose Sound Touch 10 wireless speakers on either side of the desk and I use this Bose remote to control them. Using them as desktop speakers, they do get really loud. But the thing is, I do not use speakers for anything, including playing PlayStation. If you live in the UK, then you can figure out that unless you soundproof your room properly, there is no way to contain the sound. So I prefer using headphones. The ones which I use are Apple AirPods, standard Apple EarPods, and these Beats wired earbuds. And this brings us to the side table setup. I here have my HP Insta Ink wireless printer. This is a pretty decent printer and if you sign up to their instant ink account, they give you free ink and about 15 free prints a month. You can pay as you go for extra prints if needed and since it's also wireless, you can use your iPhone or your iPad to print onto this printer, which is really handy. Then to the right, I have this light which I use for YouTube videos. Then a planet Earth globe as a prop. Why not, right? Below that, I have this cute BB-8 table light which makes the original BB-8 sound whenever you turn it on. Next on the top of it is my PlayStation 4. This is the original first gen one which came out along with the Uncharted 4 Thieves End game and I bought it back then. I initially thought of hooking this up to its own TV but my AOC monitor supports full HD and has got decent refresh rate. So I got this HDMI switch from Amazon and it connects my laptop and PlayStation to the monitor. It is a neat solution and with a simple flick of a button, it turns my work setup into gaming mode and off I go on an adventure. I really love this simple setup because as soon as work is done, it conveniently makes the monitor ready for gaming without much effort. The cabinet also has got a shelf and let's see what's in it. I've got a few PlayStation games, Tomb Raider, Red Dead Redemption 2, Detroit Become Human, etc, etc, and a DVD player as well. Yeah, proper old school one. I mean, I do have lots of DVDs, so I just kept hold of this one. And you know, this also plays VCDs, video CDs. Do you remember those guys? So it's just there. I haven't used it off late, but yeah, it's there to play those old school DVDs and video CDs. Then below I've got a few Apple product boxes, of course, a couple of old iPads and this is my folder containing my audio CD collection. Final two props on my desk, I have this simple stand for my iPhone and this snow globe from the place where I studied. These props keep changing on my mood or the movie which I'm watching or the game which I'm playing. Finally, coming to my cable management, I haven't got any special mounts or holders, so I just had to improvise. I know this is not the neatest solution, but at least it keeps the mess hidden. Sort of. I took this huge crate uncharted box and emptied its contents, made two pass-through holes on either sides, and put all the cables, adapters, and power bricks in here. It does the job and keeps all the mess out of sight. Then I used few cable ties to bunch up cables together. I know it still doesn't look elegant or out of the way and I'm planning to do something about it. I will have to just go online shopping and see what's available. Then from the cables I have got a USB power hub here 
which got various charging cables and yes the fan is currently running from it but there you go that's my cable management solution so that's it for this video guys hope you liked it i will leave a link down below to the products which i used in this video hit a like button to let me know if you enjoyed my video and comment down below also to let me know also please do subscribe to my channel to show your support and i will keep making fun content for you guys and as always thanks a lot for staying until the end i will see you in my next video bye for now